What's going on guys, Petey here, back with another tips and tricks video. This one is going to be a little more for intermediate, low level players, um, low experience players, try to help you guys out a little bit. Starting right off with it, this was brought to me by Crusher from Strong Free. So, how many of you have been in this position where you have a whole army of, of troops and you're trying to only select, say, the scouts, right? What I traditionally do is I would go like this, click on your scouts, and then you have all of your scouts. And then come back here, click on your bombers, planes, and you can navigate all of them that way. So that's one way to do it. And there's another way, um, thanks to Crusher, you can simply double click on one type of troop and it'll select all of the troops in the area on your screen. So a pretty cool tip that'll help you out. I think it's, it's, it's a lot quicker than trying to drag because sometimes whenever you drag it excludes troops. Like if I do something like that, I'm missing, you know, eight of my bombers. So that's it with that one. Moving on. Next one, we're going to be talking about League Cities. Let me go ahead and visit one real quick. We'll go here. Oh, right next door. So, what a league city is, um, if you capture a city and you are in a league, you can have the option to convert your city into a league city. Oh, uh, the option's right here. It'll cost you $10,000, 1500 steel. It takes an hour and you can gem it. So this is very important right at the beginning of the battlefield. Um, there's a lot of bonuses that League Cities give you. Everybody inside of your League can access the League City. They can access the Munitions Factory and the Quartermaster. They can, they can access everything just like you can. So even if you make it, everyone can steal from it. Everyone can contribute to it, so on and so forth. So basically what you do here, you can see we have a, special, a few special troops. Black 41 is the second best anti-air guns in the game. The whirl, the whirlies, as these are called, they're the first. You have your M40s. These are really good as they do splash damage, and they are one of the best units in the game. You can build your Panzer Mosses here, and then at level six munition factory, you can get rocket launchers. For Air Force, these gig transports are game changing. So, what you can do with your gigs. Um, actually, I'll get into that in a second, but these are game changing. You can also make all your different types of bombers here, and then you can also make fighter jets. Nothing for Navy. So, um, it's important. This costs a lot of money to upgrade. This one's at max level, but to upgrade these costs a lot of money. You're going to need your, your entire league donating to these to help upgrade. And all of these are locked behind different levels. Um, the one it, Once you have a munition factory level 1, you can make your gigs and your flak, and then level two, you can make your M40s, and then so on. So keep that in mind. But we're gonna get into this gig right now, and we'll be talking about attacking cities and different strategies for that. So this is an allies base. We are about to end this map, so I don't have any enemies to really show you on. But let's say I'm gonna come into this, um, this city and try to capture this city. So there's two different ways, obviously you have either a ground army or an air army. With an air army, what you can do, you can take your bombers and have them attack. They're going for the city. Now all of these turrets are going to be shooting at my bombers. Ignore these troops, these aren't here right now. So all of these turrets will be shooting at my bombers. So one thing you can do is you can uh, assign a unit to take that splash damage. This works on the ground too, you can assign a ground unit to take the splash damage. What you have to do is you have to take one unit and click them exactly on top of the turret. Take another unit exactly on top of this turret, another unit exactly on top of this turret. You can do this with tanks, you can do this with bombers, and then if you're running a ground army, people usually use your gig transports to do this because they have a lot of defense, a lot of HP, and they're there anyways. So you keep them over the towers and then all the rest of your troops aren't getting hit at all. So as soon as it gets there, this is probably shooting something in the middle. As soon as this bomber gets there, it's going to switch from shooting that person to shooting this person. It steals the aggro. So 
with air in my example right here that I have set up um, you're gonna just keep these on the turrets you can let them attack if you want and they're just gonna be sitting there bombing the turrets turrets are gonna be shooting at these guys so what you can do is once these uh, bombers are starting to get low health like maybe 4,000 you can put them back on the city and then take this guy and move him out there a fresh full health Avro. same over here and just keep swapping them out so essentially um, you, you can go and fight this whole city and never lose a single troop. You can kill a level 10 city and never lose a troop. Uh, with gigs, it's the same thing. Uh, one important battlefield tech upgrade with the gigs. I'll show you real quick. I don't have it upgraded because I didn't use gigs this battlefield. But you come to your capital city, battlefield tech, go to the air, and then this gigant. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I just say gig. So gig chaff. All friendly air units and 125 point radius is plus 700 defense for two minutes. This bonus is not stacked, but can be refreshed 30 minute cooldown. So you can go ahead and research this. Um, once it's done, your gig transports will have a skill on them that allows that you can just click and it allows you to um, get a bonus plus 700 defense. That's doubling its defense. That's really strong. And then a cool fact about it, I don't know why these guys are moving, maybe I clicked, but a cool fact about it is if you have a gig on each of these turrets, um, if you click on one, one gig, like say the gig on this turret, and you click chaff, the point radius is big enough to get all three of them. So you can use this guy's uh, chaff and then wait two minutes for it to expire. Come over here, use this guy's chaff, wait two minutes, come over here, use this guy's chaff. And that should get you through the fight if you have stugs or bombers to take the city. Cool? Alright, well, moving on from there. Uh, building cues. I'm sure everybody knows of this, but this is just for, you know, people who don't. On the left-hand side, you've seen me click it a few times. You click on the city. Under building, you have all of your different cities here. Okay? Um, you can go ahead and click on them, and from here you can manage all of your cities. So on my capital city right now, I just upgraded the farm. You can see you can click down all of your different um, villages, resource zones that connect. Click on your next city, make sure it's upgrading. Your next city, this one's almost done. And you can just go through here and it's a quick way um, to manage all of your different cities. Uh, I'm telling you this because it took me a minute before I realized this and I was like, the same amount of resource zones that I have now and I was manually going around the map doing them and I'm like man this sucks so if you're like me like I was now you know so. all right moving on um, we're gonna go into like very very early game a uh, very important thing so when you first spawn on the map you'll be a level one city let's see if I can see this guy I think he's the only level one city on the map anyways so if you're level one city, you spawn into the map, and then say uh, you have to go to sleep, okay? So you need to log off. What you need to do before you get off is you need to uh, gem up your city to level three, and then put down uh, level two turrets on each of the corners of the base. Uh, the reason for this is rebel light tanks and different troops will spawn on the borders of your city. And if you build those turrets before you go to bed, and you can still have your shield, then they'll be shooting those all night. So, you know, you you went to bed at level three, you're gonna wake up eight hours later at level eight or nine, and then you'll just be that much closer and just be able to progress. So that's the most important thing, and then it'll also help keep you safe if ever any if like your shield expires and you um, someone ends up trying to attack you. All right, my final last and final tip. This one is probably the most important for newer players. I see this so often. Make sure when you join a league, you join a good league. How can you tell if it's a good league? Typically, there'll be a high level. I think that's the easiest way to tell. Um, I can't even see these guys' levels. There'll be a high league level. Um, you know, trying to join somebody like Polish Elites or the Allies. You know, these, they might be good leagues, they might be, have some good people in them, but typically not. Uh, typically all these ones that are higher level right here, Fluffy Cupcakes, they're really good. Uh, these guys are really good, can't pronounce their name. Guns Fryer, good, Leaf. 
So everyone at the high league level typically has some experience and they can teach you a lot. That's the whole point of it. I see a lot of guys joining up into these smaller level leagues and they just, those are the people that high level leagues just run over and it's just, it's not even a challenge. Um, the reason why is because you're not getting any experience. You have nobody to talk to. The people you are talking to, you're like, hey, what should I make? And they're like, I just make medium tanks and that's it. And then you're it's medium tanks versus bombers, you know. Um, I actually learned how to play this game because one dude took me under his wing and taught me about M40s, taught me about the league cities, taught me about gigs and how to properly push and when not to push, things like that. And he was just a league city member who just happened to be on. And he took a couple cities, I watched him, and that's how I learned. I, I'm telling you, these, these battlefields are like 260 players. And we just run over like 200 of them because they just don't they just don't have that they're in some random league and they're just so end the rant there but um that's the most important tip i have for new players is get in a new league and get a tutor and watch sit here and while your stuff's building just watch your tr watch your teammates see what they're doing where they're going um and so on and so forth so that's it for this video um I'm going to have some more of these coming out soon. And the last one, I didn't tell you this, but make sure you subscribe. I've been sharing my videos, my links in the Battlefield chat and stuff like that. Um, but I don't like doing that. I don't like spamming. Um, I'm just trying to get you guys to know that I'm making content. If you guys can subscribe to the channel, then you'll get automatic notifications and you'll see the videos. If you don't know this already, I've got, I think this is my fifth or sixth video at this point. Um, one of them I did on technology trees, the complete breakdown with all the stats. That was probably my best video I've made so far. Uh, it's huge and it helps you decide whether you want to go airman, cannoneer, tanker based on the stats. Um, I'm going to be making an officer video talking about all the different officers, all their stats, and how much they cost. Um, right now I'm just collecting data for that, but that's going to come soon. Um, so, and I'm, I'm making plenty more videos every day, so if you like it, please leave a like. Um, subscribe that way you can see more of the content I don't have to keep spamming the chat you've got to keep seeing my name and that's it so thanks for watching guys take it easy